Today's scripture reading begins in verse 1 of Ephesians chapter 5. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love just as Christ also loved you and gave himself up for us an offering and a sacrifice to God as a fragrant aroma. But immorality or any impurity or greed must not even be named among you as is proper among saints. And there must be no filthiness and silly talk or coarse jesting, which are not fitting, but rather giving of thanks. For this you know with certainty, that no immoral or impure person or covetous man who is an idolater has an inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Let no one deceive you with empty words. For because of these things, the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore, do not be partakers with them. For you were formerly darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of the light consists in all goodness and righteousness and truth, trying to learn what is pleasing to the Lord. Do not participate in the unfruitful deeds of darkness, but instead even expose them. For it is disgraceful even to speak of the things which are done by them in secret. But all things become visible when they are exposed by the light. For everything that becomes visible is light. For this reason it says, Awake, sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Therefore, be careful how you walk, not as unwise men, but as wise, making the most of your time, because the days are evil. So then, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Time is a precious commodity. You can't earn more of it or reuse it. Once it's spent, it's gone forever. That's why no amount of money, possessions, or success can equal its value. What's more, we have no control over the length of time we'll be allotted in this life. God alone is sovereign over the number of our days. If you want to know your true value system, simply look at how you spend your time. For the committed follower of Jesus, activities and pursuits will reflect a life lived for Him. What, then, is required to live wisely? First, realize that without Christ you have no inheritance in God's kingdom. The Savior offered Himself as a sacrifice to God so that all who believe in Him could be forgiven and receive eternal life. Without salvation, all of your time is wasted. Second, as God's beloved child, imitate Him. Do this by walking in love, turning from sin, and learning what is pleasing to the Heavenly Father. Of course, imitation requires that you know the Lord, His ways, and His desires as revealed in Scripture. Third, make the most of your time. Thoughtlessly moving through life results in hours spent on endeavors that, in an eternal sense, are fruitless. The Apostle Paul warns us to be wise in making the most of opportunities. Remember, life is not about how long you live, but about whether you're intentionally living for Christ. It's never too late to change direction. Place your trust in God, ask Him for guidance for each day, and let Him direct how you spend your time.